Hello, everybody. Carla Nicole. Ugh. I have to get up here. So, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Well, it is noon. Um, welcome to the uh, Live with Carla Nicole show. Man, it's been a heck of a morning, let me tell you. Um, I lost a beautiful sister this morning. <clears throat> so it was very difficult to get here and be positive, but I'm going to do it. Um, I want to dedicate this show, though, to her memory. Um, her name is Haja. She was a beautiful woman, graceful, and always supported my works 110%. Um, you know, I'm saddened that uh, she won't be with us anymore in the physical. But um, one of the beautiful things about her is she lived her purpose. And by her example, um, it's important and vi you know, vital that I do the same and continue to do what I do and not for a half a second stop my focus on you know, doing my purpose. And I encourage everybody else to do the same. Um, but, uh, you know, when you have someone that supports your works and, uh, not only supports you, but your works and, uh, 110% of her time was dedicated to encouraging you, um, you can't even imagine how heartfelt I was when I heard she crossed over to the other side this morning. So, um, it was tough. I got through it, um, cleared up the tears, <laughs> but, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's a challenge to lose somebody that you care about, but understand that life is not promised. I mean, we have to stay focused on that. We have to remember that love always tell somebody that you last seen that you love them. Do not take it for granted that you'll see them again. Don't do that. Um, so it's very important that, um, you let people know how you feel because that's one thing that I'm big about is telling people that I care about that I do and how I feel for this very reason because I went back in my memory and I tried to make sure the last time I saw her did I tell her I loved her and I did so I am so thankful that I did that so make sure that you do the same you know with your friends and your family you don't let these days go unnoticed that they are your supporters and that they um, helped you with, with, with this path of life that we go through. So make sure that um, you tell people you love them, okay? So, again, dedicating this show to my friend Haja that I lost at Crossover uh, yesterday. But, um, like I said, um, peace and love, sis. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> Let's talk about change, man. I mean, what better, you know, situation than something like death or someone crossing over is a better example of change. But we're not going to talk about just death. Let's talk about just in general. How many know that things change? I don't care what you do. Everything changes. Everything goes, um, you know, one thing might seem one way today, some things another. So we have to be mindful that things change. Everything in this life changes um, from trees to seasons to everything. So we have to be mindful that that's a part of life. But I want to talk to the people today that have a hard time with change. Um... You know, I just want to use an example. Like, when I go home to where I'm from, um, and I go there and I'm like, oh, this changed, that changed. I mean, like, literally, my elementary school is gone. My junior high is gone. My high school is getting ready to get bulldozed over. They're getting ready to build a whole nother one. Um, every time I go to my hometown, it's changed so much. And I'm like, really? You know, but it's, it's a lot of growth in the city that I'm from. Um, so, you know, a lot has changed since I've been there. Um, and I left um, the Cleveland area since 1996. So when I go back, I'm like, well, nothing's the same. <laughs> Nothing is the same. I don't care what I do. I can get, you know, uh, just a glance of it. And I'm just like, okay, 
nothing is happening that I could have ever imagined when I was young. Did I ever see this growth in the city? No. But when I go there now, I'm like, wow, okay. You know, um, change is happening. Um, another great example is our kids. You know, um, I remember bringing my baby girl home and she was no bigger than my hand. She was only six pounds, like this big. You feel what I'm saying? Now she's grown and mom this, mom that. It's like, who is this person? <laughs> she has grown and evolved into a beautiful young woman. Then I got my baby boy who's, who's now, you know, nine, getting ready to be 10. He also was brought in my home in my hand. And now he has evolved into a, a young man that's 10 years old. And I'm looking like, oh my God. Um, and then if we think about us, right? As we get older from where we came from, I'm sure our parents and our siblings look at us and say, well, you don't look anything like you used to, or you've changed. Um, all of these things are true because we do change. So. We are going to begin to age and, you know, become seniors and everything else. And, and our hair is going to get gray or, you know, our face is going to change. We're going to get wrinkles. I mean, all these things are going to change and evolve. And so we got to look at that and say, wow, okay, um, how do I deal with this? This is a lot. Um, relationships change. You know, you can have a great relationship. Everything's working perfectly. And then the next thing you know, you blink your eyes. And you're at the court getting divorced. That's a huge change. Um, that's a death in and of itself. You know, letting go of someone you love and and you had built history with and, and everything like that. And then guess what? Your love life has changed. Um, I can go on and on as examples. But what is something we can do in this lifetime to embrace change? Because no matter what we do, change is going to be here. I don't care what we do. It's going to happen. It's going to come. Whether we like it or not, our house is going to change, our place of location, our jobs. All of these things are going to change. So what do we need to do to embrace change? Now, I have a friend that I'm very close to. Um, she conveyed to me a long time ago. She says, you know, the hardest thing for me is dealing with change. And so um, I felt compelled to bring this into the Alone series because I think when you have a loud house, for instance, you know, you're a mom, a wife, or you're a husband and a father, and your house is loud, you got kids this, wife doing this, husband doing that, and your house is so loud because it's just the frequency to which you're in. It's that, it's that phase and stage of your life that so much is going on you're focused on finances you're focused on this you're focused on that and then something happens whereas maybe your spouse passes on or you divorce or you just part ways for whatever reason and your house gets ultimately quiet silent and you're so used to hearing laughter noise going on what's going on in there you know all of that's going on in your life and you're so used to hearing it then all of a sudden it's gone what do we do with that that's so hard because that's now a transition one of the things about me is that you know um in 2003 i lost my mom and she was an anchor in my life and i'm like okay what do i do now i don't have a mom um and you look at that and you're like what what do i need to do to be able to balance this out because now her loss in my life is now going to take a big, huge effect on what I'm doing and how I'm focusing. Um, and so how do I, how do I navigate this life without her? All of these things happen. Death is a part of life, but it's hard to deal with because death is something so permanent, but is it, this is where, you know, grieving and hurts, and pains comes in. It's like, how do I navigate in this life without feeling like I've lost everything? And one of the best things that I remember when I lost my mom, I'm like, yes, yeah, she crossed over. But you had the time with her that you can actually take what you had with her and use those experiences 
those notices she would give you, those messages she would tell you, the discipline, the discipline she um, would instill in you. And you could take that and learn to now facet your life around certain things that you learned from her. And then actually help others, number one, like what I'm doing here. Also help my children, friends and family. So what can you do because you lose? You're not, I didn't lose my mom. I lost her physically, yes. But I didn't lose her memory. I didn't lose our experiences. I didn't lose our conversations because she's gone now. I just lost her physically. But her, her whole being is still a part of me and what I need to do. So I had to figure out ways to navigate in this life without her. I think it's very important that you guys get this because when we're talking about change, change happens, right? So what's the number one thing we need to focus on about change? When change happens, we need to pause. We need to allow the tears. We need to allow the grieve, grieving. We need to allow ourselves to get settled in the change if it's a negative change or a change that is dynamically different like a loss of a spouse a loss of a child a loss of a parent anything like that you have to allow yourself time time to heal that loss and then as you come out of the loss of that family member or that um, love interest or whatever what have you you can then evolve by seeing the flip side of the death of that person or the death of that relationship and learn what can I take from this and apply to now my new phase of life because change is going to happen like I said so what do we what do we take from this what do we what do we take and where do we go from here like I said number one thing to do when you go through a, a huge change in your life is pause so I want you guys, I know you guys know I'm big about writing stuff down because we will not remember this if we don't write it down. And I'm including myself because today I went through a huge change with losing somebody that I care about. So I'm, I'm um, needing to write this down as well as you guys write it down. So number one is to deal with change. The number one thing is to um, pause, allow yourself to grieve. Okay. So how to deal with, how to deal with change pause okay so I'm writing that down pause allow yourself to get settled in the new change okay um, the reason why you want to pause is sometimes change happens so quickly um, it could be a lot for you it can be a lot for you because you're you've had a certain settled subtlety in your life that you're used to but now all of a sudden it's like what do I do to change and navigate now that this has happened pause give your time give yourself time to wait and allow yourself time to process the change allow yourself time to say okay I am in this situation I am my scenario that I'm used to having before has changed so now let me woosa accept the change listen the problem with a lot of times people have is they don't want to accept change that's what it is we don't want to accept it I refuse to accept this as a change I will not allow it so they'll stop they'll stop and just not want to live anymore they'll dive themselves into a depression not because it's um deemed as going to happen anyway you know depression is a is a condition yes but you can also throw yourself into a depression if you don't allow yourself time to pause and grieve and get settled in the newness of the change, okay? So like I said, I'm writing this down too. So we have to pause, 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 pause. Give ourselves a chance to get grips on the change, okay? Now, some changes are great, right? We have some things that happen in our life where changes come and it's like, man, this is a phenomenal change. For instance, something can happen in your life right now and you're like, I have gone 
viral, for instance, or something like that. Or, you know, um, I have got an overnight success all of a sudden. And I, I mean, it's enormous. People know me now and I don't know, I didn't know they knew me because all of a sudden I've got this newfound fame. Okay, that is a change that can happen abruptly. And again, we're talking about change. How do you deal with it, right? You also have to pause. Your pause is essential. Even if you get a beautiful change, like something massive happens, you get, you hit the lottery or you hit something like, oh my God, I'm hitting something that I never could believe. I have something that's so substantial. I've got a huge financial gain or I've got this, I've got that. Oh my God, it's a new change. That's beautiful. But you still have to pause. <laughs> Say for instance, why is it that so many people that win the lottery, right? And they're bankrupt after so many, after so long. They have all this money that they had in, in an instant. They went from counting pennies to now counting thousands. And they don't know how to handle it. It's a lot. It's a lot. Or you know how we encourage our sons. Get into sports and do this and do that. Yes. That's encouraging. Yes, we want our sons to be great in sports. But prepare that son and that child that if in the event they get huge or they get successful all of a sudden, that they're going to have to be able to learn how to handle that change. Huge change. Lifestyle change. Money change. Because, listen, when you have a huge change like that, it's like, oh my God, what do I do? I got a lot of money here. I don't know what to do with it. Pause. Okay, any financial advisor that happens to see you and has you sit before them and all of a sudden you go to a paycheck to paycheck <laughs> lifestyle and all of a sudden you've got millions of dollars, anybody that really gives a hoot about you will sit you down and tell you not to touch that money for one year. Why? Why shouldn't I touch that money for a year? Imagine. We have to first get settled in our head and mind and soul about what our vices are before we can even deal with an, a massive amount of money or an, a massive amount of celebrity overnight. There's something about that we've got to get settled in our soul over. If you're not sure about how important it is that change, even if it's grand like that, won't send your life spiraling out of control, it will. So again, if you even have a huge change like that, please, 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 please pause. Okay, that's number one. Now, number two, how do we deal with change, right? Um, and I would use, for example, aging, because I think aging is a subtle change. So it's a change that comes along very slowly, but it comes regardless. So, you know, one minute it seems like you're 20 years old, then you're 30, 40, 50, next thing you know, you're getting Medicare and you're an elder and now you're advising young people and you're like where in the world did this come from i remember when i was 20 years old and i was doing this and doing that that's wonderful but understand though aging is happening right now while you're on here watching me you are aging so we are aging regardless now it doesn't matter if we're 20 30 40 50 60 it doesn't matter we are all aging how do we handle that we have to lessen expectations, okay? So what I mean by lessen expectations, and write this down. So two is lessen expectations. Stop assuming um, that when you age, you will be decrepit. Stop thinking that once you age, you're going to be unable to take care of you. Stop believing that when you age, everything goes downhill. You lose your sex appeal. You lose this. You lose that. Oh, I won't be able to do this anymore. I won't be able to do that anymore. I'm going to be a burden. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true at all. One of my greatest things that I love 
and I enjoy doing is hanging out with elderly people. Do you know why? Elders are awesome to hang with because first of all, they're real. They'll tell, you, tell it to you so raw that you'll just be like, really? Okay. And they are at the point in their lives as seniors that they don't have to prove nothing to nobody. They've already done all the work. So when you hang with seniors, you're like, okay, this is kind of cool. I'm, I'm loving your, your, your flair and how you flow in life. So we have to lessen expectations. We have to stop putting all this expectation on what aging or what change is going to bring to us. We can have a phenomenal senior uh, life golden years golden years should be that golden we should be enjoying our years traveling and and learning and i mean just because you're a senior doesn't mean you can't thrive and have great relationships and and live life one of the best mentors for me is my uncle okay my uncle is in his i believe he's in his 80s no he's in his 70s and that man when i tell you he swims he does yoga, he does Tai Chi, he goes and travels, he has ladies, he does he dancing. I mean, you name it, he's doing it. And and whenever I talk to him, there's not a day I call him that he's not jovial, happy, and thirsty for life. This is essential. Change means you gotta be welcoming of it. So that's number three. Welcome that change. Bring it on. If you're if anything in my life's gonna change, I'm gonna welcome it, whatever it is. Why? Because essentially, in my life, this change was supposed to be here. So if it's here, then let me embrace it. So, write it down. Change. Welcome it. Welcome. It. Welcome change. Okay? So when change happens, welcome it. Always. Be excited for it. Listen, changes happen because it is to help you grow. It is to help you um, learn something. So if we spend a lot of time hemming and hawing and hating change and, and so um, thrown back by change, it's going to mess us up in the long run. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we welcome change. Come on with it. Come on with it. I'm ready for it. And be ready. And be honored to have it. Because guess what? If you aren't here anymore, there is no change. Real talk. There's no change if you're not here on the planet. So you better be welcoming change. You better be embracing change. You better be excited about change. Whether it seems like at the moment this is not a good change, learn to embrace it. Say, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting in this new um, scene of life at this point it might not look so good but this must be bringing me something and if it's not a blessing then it's a lesson so if that's the case what lesson am I learning this is something we need to be focused on so what is the what is it that is coming into my life that I need to change and why okay so again, I want to go over this one more time so you guys know exactly what I'm going, uh, what, what I encourage you to do when it comes to change. Number one is pause. When you have a substantial change, please pause. You have to. You have to stop and face the change. Be it. If it is a change that is a hard knock, um, a, a death, a saddened time, or if it's something substantial and amazing. I don't care what change it is. Pause. And wait and allow yourself to get settled into the change. Okay? Number two, lessen expectations if you have change. So stop thinking, well, oh my God, I see I have gray hair. My life is over. I'm dying. Oh my God, I got a gray hair. No. Embrace them silver hairs, baby girl. You earned them. Or gentlemen, you earned them gray hairs. Those are wisdom strands. You better embrace them. Those are there for a reason. You're getting white because you have been here a while. 
Embrace them. Do you know I used to, I got gray at 25. I had wisdom already back then. Didn't realize it. Did I hide from, oh my God, I'm dying. No. Now I really don't care. I mean, I used to color my hair and highlight and stuff. Eh, I'm good on that. I'm going to go ahead and let these silver hairs go on and come on in. Forget it. Why do I care about gray hairs? Shoot, we're growing. We're learning. We're still on this side of the grass, as my dad says. We're still on this side of the grass. Do you realize No, none of us are getting out of here alive? That's me and his little joke. You know what I mean? But anyway, so lessen your expectations about aging. Embrace it. Love it. Get excited about it. Welcome it. Welcome that aging. Because you know what? Without aging, we're not here. <laughs> I don't care what you what you do. You're not aging. You're not here. So be excited. Thirsty for that. Number three, welcome it. Like I said, understand this. When we are aging, it's a beautiful thing. When we have something that comes in our life that, or even a person that comes in our life that maybe doesn't, you know, understand too much of how we operate and maybe is negative or whatever, understand, okay, even people change now. Okay, I'm going to touch on this real fast. People change. So somebody that's supporting you and encouraging you can all of a sudden flip the script on you and be jealous of you. And you're like, I thought you, I thought you cared about my, my vision, my purpose, my plans here. But now I'm noticing that you, you are hating on me. What happened? No, it's not that they hate on you. They just built, began to build a... Um, disdain for your movement and your growth and your excitement and all of that for life well then you just part ways from them but you know it's good for you to understand what's going on in a hater's mind in a hater's mindset doesn't mean you have to hang out with them and and be devoted to them like that no if someone doesn't really want to see your mission then they got to go home now go on it's okay we can be cool on the uh, you know arm's length but we can't be cool like that if you're gonna be hating on my growth and my and my passion that's not okay that's what i'm here on the planet to do so you can't do that hey steve yes i know you do you definitely embrace your your uh aging and i think it's beautiful i think more people need to do that because like i said the more the more um we are the longer we're here you know, and um, the silver years and golden years we have, it's, it's important. Yes, you're right. We need to detach and keep it healthy. And understand this. What we do in this, in this day and age, like in our, in our wisdom years or in our focus and, and when we're pushing and, and all this, we have to be healthy. Yes, healthy is very important. If you want to age gracefully, you got to make sure you take care of that body now. You don't wait till you get 65 and try to get, oh, I better start eating better and drinking more water. No, you got to do it now because your body's aging regardless. So it's very important that we do that. Okay. So again, man, I'm so glad you guys are here. I, I Like I said, you can have a lot of change going on. But in the change, it's okay. It's important and imperative that in our change... We have things go on. It is what it is. But we can really build on change. We can we can enhance change. Um, you know the the beauty. Hey, talent coach. We we can we can actually find ourselves um, be, a better version of ourselves if we encourage ourselves to do more for ourselves and understand that sometimes when we're changing, um, it is what it is. You know, a lot of women, especially, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick on the women a little bit. We have an issue with our body image. A lot of us women, oh my God, I hate my stretch marks. I hate, I got a little bit here and I hate, I got a little bit there. And then it's like, I gotta get liposuction. I gotta get this done. I gotta get that done. No, you don't. No, you don't. Do you understand if you had a being come out of your body, as a mama, I've had two children. If a man cannot appreciate my body for because I had children, then damn it, he's not a man. <laughs> I'm just sorry. Oh, well, he can move on. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, we got to start embracing our bodies and ourselves because if we don't, we're going to find ourselves trying to hurry up. And Oh, my God, I'm trying to hurry up and and do something else and let me fix this let me fix that no be the best you one of the beautiful things about my dad he always told me is that 
There's only one you. That's it. There is never going to be another one. You are who you are. There is no other. So with that said, with us only being one version of us, there's never ever going to be another one of us. There never has been one of us. We got to live this life and enjoy it. Embrace change. Be happy for change. And don't ever let somebody tell you you're not enough because you are enough. Like I said, I want to want, once again, I want to highlight my girl, Haja. Thank you, sis, for being in my life and a part of my life. You've passed on and crossed over, but because of you living your purpose, it is just a total inspiration for me to continue doing what I'm doing. She always used to call me the hidden treasure of Springfield, and I'm going to live to that because of her. I am so thankful she was a part of my life. Now, because of that change, because I don't have her now, as a support is a challenge for me because I don't have her now, but I have her memory and I have what she's always told me. And now because of that, I'm going to take what she gave me and I'm going to run, keep running on and continue to do this mission, which is to inspire people. I'm not going to stop. So whoever thinks I'm going to stop and is mad at me doing it too bad. Cause I'm going to be here. I'm not changing it. I'm not going to stop. Okay. So whoever hating, just hate. It's okay. I love you anyway. All right, so I'm out of here, loves. Uh, once again, I'm going to go over it one more time so you guys have it. How to deal with change. Number one, pause. Pause, 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 okay? Number two, lessen expectations. And number three, welcome it. If you have change, welcome it. Do not ever get or shun change. Be glad for it because change is here because you are here, all right? So I'm out of here, okay? So glad you guys shared with me, hang out with me. Just here to, to, to just live life. And, and like I said, everybody share this video because there's many, many people who has not embraced change or has a hard time learning about change. Please share this video. Make sure you write everything down. See how I write everything down? I want you guys to do the same. Write everything down that I give you on these videos because... We need to keep a track of it. This stuff that we're learning is to help us enhance our lives. If we don't write it down, we will forget. One of the biggest lessons at church is if I didn't write down what the sermon was about on Sunday by Wednesday at Bible study and my pastor would ask me, what did you learn? I'd be like, mm, I forgot. Oh, really? You forgot? So because of that, <laughs> I now write everything down and I want you guys to write it down because it's harder to forget if we write it down, we got the message. One of the things about us as humans is we get excited at church on Sunday, but by Wednesday at Bible study, we don't remember what the heck was, so oh my God, what was the subject? So this is my church right here. So y'all watching me knows I'm going to tell y'all to write it down because I want you guys to remember this stuff. I'm doing it for us to all get better. Not just for you guys, but me too. I need to remember some of this stuff. Um, and like David said, yes, continue to strive and thrive. Absolutely, love. You know I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep doing it. And change is inevitable. Yes, talent coach. And if we don't have change, like I said, we're not here. <laughs> so we got to embrace it. We got to love it. We got to want it. Because change is something that is helping us to evolve, branch out, touch lives. You know what I'm saying? So this is so important for me um, that you guys are here. Like I said, I don't take it lightly that you guys are here on a Sunday spending time with me. Because you guys could be anywhere else. So I don't take it lightly. I take it as an honor. And I, and I truly want to let everybody watching me. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. And um, I love all of you. You know, like I said, um, it's vitally important that you guys understand that I'm here for you. And, I, and anytime y'all talk back to me, I'm learning from you too. You know what I'm saying? So it's important that we all remember that. It's, it's a beautiful thing that once we learn, change is going to come. You know what I'm saying? But we have to understand that even in change, we have to learn to embrace the change. And like Talent Coach said, he said, you remember 80% of what you write down. Now, see, look at what he just said. I'm going to like that, Talent Coach. Look here. 
He said, you remember 80% of what you write down and you only remember 20% of what you don't. Why do you think I've been telling y'all guys, guys to write down this stuff? Because he's right. When you write it down, you remember. It's a point of reference. Oh yeah, I remember I did write down this. Oh yeah, Carla Nicole did say that. Oh, I'm in a, I'm in a hard, I'm in a hard knock right now. I'm up against the ropes. My life is feeling funny because I'm up against the ropes. What do I do? Oh, let me go back to my, my notes. I can inbox Carla Nicole, yes. But in the midst of that, let me go grab my notes because I can remember this. Reason why I give it to you guys in threes is because it's easy to remember. Threes, one, two, and three makes it easy to remember. I can go back as a point of reference. Oh, okay, so I just got a bunch of money. What did Carla Nicole tell me to do? Pause. Pause. I know it's exciting. I know you want it. I know you love it. But wait, don't do anything. Pause, okay? Um, it's important. It's imperative that we pause and wait. I mean, a lot of times we get so excited with change, especially good change, right? We get a new job. We're so excited. Like, pause a minute. Wait. Enjoy. Settle your whole soul into that change. Give yourself a chance to embrace it. So just wait. Wait, wait, wait. And then, woosa. Allow yourself to embrace the change, man. We just get so excited about stuff. We just, boom, we're gone. Like, hey, I was going to. Okay. I'm going to let you it. I'm going to let you go, but I told you to wait a minute and pause because you have to. Um, it's just important that we do that. Um, you know, one of my very good friends, you know, he went viral overnight. When I tell you viral overnight, and Steve can attest to this, he went viral overnight. And um, I was like, I had to pause because, listen... His, his whole life changed, and I was so excited, but I was like, wait, I got to really, I got to help you to help you, <laughs> so I got to be woosa. I mean, like I said, he went from, you know, thousands knowing him to millions, and when that beautiful change happened, it was so awesome, and it was so exciting, and Steve can tell you, we were both like, oh my God, so excited for him. But understand, when that change happened, I had to pause. Like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Did you say six million people? <laughs> wait a minute. That's a lot of people that knows my friend. A lot of people. And I want to make sure that he's going to be okay. So, you know, that's why I'm telling you that change can happen either way. It can be great. It can be negative. So you got to make sure you're always ready. So, again, you know, um, I'm so glad you guys were here. Um... And like I said, just make sure you write the stuff down. And I give it to you guys in three so it's easy to remember. Okay? Um, I'm not sure what next week's show is going to be about. But, you know, I'm always up to something. Um, I'm enjoying this alone series because just because we're alone doesn't mean we have to be lonely. Um, and it doesn't mean that we can't thrive in our aloneness. It doesn't mean that alone is always that you're just alone. But it could also mean that you are in lo alone in thought. Or you have some things that's going on that you really don't know can happen. So we have to make sure that we're focused on our aloneness. But understand that even in our oneness, these things need to be dealt with and change. So, um, hey, Steve, I love you too, so, uh, sir. It's just so glad to see you here. And, and um, it, it's not, it's not uh, going unnoticed how, how much you support also and you know i support you as well um hey perry love um so it's just really good that everybody's here um again it is already i cannot believe it's already over it goes so fast but like i said i'm loving the alone series this is my favorite series that i've done so far because it's really encouraging people to to embrace their aloneness and be happy in it and also understand that just because change happens it doesn't always have to be bad change it could be great it could be amazing but we still need to pause no matter what kind of change it is so we can settle in the change okay so i am out of here i am exhausted i can't believe i used so much energy on the show today that i'm actually tired i might take a nap <laughs> so make sure you guys share this this video like i said share 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 
because people need to know how to handle change. If we don't handle change, it's hard. Um, and change is okay. It is. It's a beautiful thing. Be glad in it. Share this video, guys. Also, if you don't know, I have a YouTube channel. And I want you guys to go on my YouTube channel and subscribe and like it. Okay? I'm doing this stuff for, for all of us so we can all grow. Okay? Thank you, Steve, for being here. Thank you guys for being a part of my show. I so am, am, am just so appreciative of you guys. Thanks, Talent Coach. I love all of you guys. Much love. Kisses and hugs to everybody individually. Um, and uh, please, please, please make sure that you share this video. I appreciate you guys so much. It's Carla Nicole signing off. Best kept. Have a good day. Bye.